Okay, we are live and just about a minute or so early here on the channel and we'll see what this sounds like and see if we've got decent audio. Got it up on the laptop, I'm on the iPad here and we'll see what we've got. Testing one, two, three, see, uh, okay. okay, it sounds good. Okay, finally loaded in, and it sounds good. And Stig is in the house. Lance is in the house. And, and this show is directed to Lance. Stig's in the house. And Carlos is in the house. And they're all saying hello to everybody. Eduardo's in the house. Usually uh, quite slow. Now much slower. We are still locked down. Oh, my goodness. Seems today the president is going to... Uh, I guess talk about it as what you said there and Carlos says hello and let's see sounds good says air toad I think that's what that is and Eduardo says went to see my went to see my way watchmaker today he said everything checks out and that it was a good buy Eduardo good very good and Robert's in the house he says hello and Blue is in the house, and take a quick close-up at the 002 stunner, 002 stunner alert on wrist. And the theme of this show is buy quality, don't buy junk. A buddy of mine told me many, many years ago, many, many, many years ago, if you always buy quality items, you'll always be surrounded by quality items. You won't have a bunch of junk laying around. So that's a thing, and here's, here's the thing. It is getting harder to do that because there's a lot of junk out there. My gosh, just wander into a Walmart. The whole place is full of junk, right? There's almost nothing I would buy in a Walmart anymore. They used to sell Kershaw knives, the, the ones that are made in the USA. Some Kershaws are not, by the way. They used to sell some USA-made Kershaw knives there. I don't even know if they do that anymore. So there's pretty much nothing probably worth buying at a Walmart. So let's, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's talk about some brand names. Let's give some examples. And of course, a quality watch would be a Grand Seiko, that 231 Stunner, the 005. And Dave Williams shared a video with me today. Someone did a video on the 005 Stunner, and it is amazing. And speak of the devil, there is David. Maybe you can put a link to that video in the chat so that the folks can check that out as well um, okay so let's go into this real quick here <clears throat> this is an album that I have of quality clothing and accessories and this is a good brand H Freeman and Sons out of Philadelphia do not confuse them for Hickey Freeman but H Freeman and Sons Philadelphia good brand okay and we're gonna do a lightning round here of, of brands okay and I'm skipping a bunch of them, but uh, here is uh, Corbin Limited. They, they made some clothes for Georgetown University Shop and for other high-end men's clothing shops, Corbin. So keep an eye out for some of their stuff. Here's another one, Georgetown University Shop. Okay, Ort, Ortsky of Reading, whatever that is. Okay, in other words, they high quality brand as well they they made clothes for Georgetown University shop as you can see there and we're gonna move along here we're gonna move along you're seeing some of them Sunhurst is a brand that Neiman Marcus had and here is Oak Room I wore this suit the other day Oak Loom clothes they also made clothes for Georgetown University shop that was one of my favorite places to uh, to shop back in the day. And we'll keep going here. Of course, Nordstrom used to make some really good shirts in the USA. Don't know that they do anymore. And that's another thing is you got to watch out. Some of these brands cheapened out on their brand and started making junk. So you got to watch it. Now, here's a company that still makes good stuff, Bill's Khakis. Bill's Khakis. Okay, keep an eye out for those. That's a good way to go. Here's um, here's a picture of mine with my, you've seen these many times on the channel, my Bill's khakis. I have many pairs of those, different colors. Okay, and you always have to have some good jeans. Of course, 
Burberry trench coat, you always want to have a nice all cotton, 100% cotton Burberry. There's one. You can tell by looking at the fabric that it's the all cotton one. And that's what you want. You don't want to get the blend. Okay, and you want to get the one that's made in England. They aren't all made in England, folks. Again, they've cheapened out their brand. Okay, and a good pair of cowboy boots, Lucchese's. Okay, you want to get a, a pair custom made if you can, just so that they'll fit. I had fit problems with getting boots to fit me exactly right. Let's go back here, and I'll, I actually have a pair of mine here handy. Let's see if I can grab them. Hold on a second. Okay. All right. This is a lightning round, folks. Lightning round on the channel. <clears throat> and this is this is the black pair. These are crocodile, a, a, a very high grade of crocodile. And these were custom made. They fit me very nicely. They're very comfortable. And these are many, many years old. I've just taken good care of them. I don't wear them that often. I wear them when I go out to the rodeo, something like that, right? Okay, so I've got that pair. And then ostrich. Ostrich is a very durable leather, very soft, very soft. And ostrich has a unique characteristic in that it, it has oils in it that, that are in the leather that help keep it soft and, and, and help it uh, last. And it's a very durable leather. It's almost as strong as kangaroo. Pound for pound, kangaroo is like the strongest leather out there because it's very light and very strong. This is this is very strong as well. The way it's constructed, the way it's like it's almost like plywood, where the leather has different layers go in different directions, and it makes it very very strong. So it's a it's a good choice if you get a, a high quality uh, piece of uh, ostrich, and that's what these are. And these are of course Lucchese, also custom made. Okay, so that's how you do the cowboy boot thing. All right, let's see what else we got in the um, Triforce Rich is in the house, and David did put the link in here, 05 video, and Triforce says, what's up, everyone? Milgaus sold, Craig, Triforce Rich. Triforce Rich, you sold your Milgaus? Do clarify. Mighty Rat is in the house. Nice belt. What is it? Okay, the belt that was with the khakis, that is a crocodile uh, saltwater croc belt, and I'll show you in a minute where I got that. When we get to that picture, I'll show you that. And that is a good one, absolutely. I've got, a, I've got one in black and one in uh, brown, and I use them a lot. I have a bunch of other alligator belts and a few that are caiman. You don't want to buy caiman. That's pretty much junk. Um, but there's that, uh, going through the comments here, um, what about winter clothing? I love Canada goose. I have three of their jackets and even bought my mom one winter. I don't, I haven't spent time in the really cold weather for many, many years, but I do have some information on my channel about bomber jackets, various bomber jackets, some of which are very warm. So check that out. Check that video out of the uh, the bomber jackets. Absolutely. Ostrich watch straps are very nice, Larry, in the house. I sold it one hour after. I sold it in one hour for profit. Listen to Craig. They are super hard to sell. Hey, that that yeah. If you sold it, that's a good move. T Towns in the house. Canada goose equals winter attire for Ivy League rich kids. There you go. Try first, Rich. Uh, thanks, David. Uh, they are a Colt watch for sure. Also for warm weather, you know, a nice shearling coat. You can buy some really nice shearling coats. Remember that coat that the character, what was that, that show that the guy was out in Montana, the, the sheriff out in Montana? You guys know the show I'm talking about. And he wore a really cool uh, shearling coat that was made by, who was that made by? It's like a $3,500 coat. I'll think of it. I'll think of it. You guys will probably think of it. You probably know what I'm talking about. Really, it was a cool show. Uh, let's see here. Um, good call getting rid of the Milgaus, Triforce Rich, moving on up to better things. 
and Cheat Town, but their stuff really does work. Their customer service is amazing. Okay. All right. I need to. Uh, okay. First, I need to move along here until I get to the belts, and I'll show you the belts. Okay. So here, also on the shoe subject. Uh, some some really high quality moccasin style shoes. We'll talk about those in a minute. And there's the Wested coat. Uh, th that's a good choice. Also, put wear a cashmere sweater under that, and that'll work in some fairly cool weather. And there's a U.S. Wings bomber jacket. And uh, there is the um, Burberry. And I'm going to keep going here because I want to get to. Eventually, I'll probably get to the the belts we move along here gotta move along a little bit and there are the Gitman Brothers shirts Gitman Brothers shirts there's the belt hornback crop crocodile belts there we go and the company now I got mine from David Morgan davidmorgan.com but then I bought it the second one directly from wreath Leather in Australia, R E E F Leather in Australia. I I I assume they're still in business. This was years ago, but they're probably still in business. It's wreathleather.com.au. So wreath R E E F Leather in Australia. I bought the second one directly from them. I believe I bought the black one from David Morgan, and then I bought the brown one directly from the company that makes them. So I cut out the middleman. How do you like that? How do you like that action? On the channel here, this is the kind of thing you only get on this channel. You will not get this information anywhere else, folks. What Bill's khakis would you recommend? The original ones. The original ones. <clears throat> the original model. I forget what they call it, model one or whatever it is. But yeah, the original one is the best. Lance is in the house. Are you going to buy them? And by the way, you can find them sometimes for really good prices on eBay. Sometimes in mint condition, you can get some Bill's khakis. Sometimes brand new, never even been worn. But yeah, take a look at that. You can sometimes get a deal on eBay on some Bill's khakis. Uh, let's see here. Um, what else do we got going on here, Craig? I have a belt with someone that Brooks Brothers will go under within three I have a bet with somebody that Brooks Brothers have gone under within three years they sell everything 70 percent plus off and have super expansive store locations by yeah I mean they could be gone absolutely a lot of businesses are going to die uh, with with this this uh, draconian shutdown uh, Triforce Rich is in the house a date may or may not be in the works I, w I w uh, day date okay want a collection so that and the GMT would be a killer combo maybe room for another watch in the future if you get the day date with a GMT that's you're done you don't need anything else be your servers in the house what are the classiest tattoos a man can I would pass on the tattoo thing pass on that Eduardo is in the house putting together a nuclear collection okay Durr is in the house tattoos aren't classy there you go um, let's see, try for switch a day date in yellow or white gold. Yellow, always yellow, always yellow gold for the day date. Bought my first Milgaus in 2010 when you could still get a deal on them plus 50% RRP as I wear it now. Okay, I've done screenshot. Okay, Craig, you were in Russia once. I was in there three times. Uh, were you not? It sure is cold there. I was actually there in January one time, and it was cold. And I'll show you a picture of me there in January, and I'll show you what I was wearing to stay warm. I will show you. Uh, let's see. That's what you, you get that kind of information here on this channel. How you like kill crocodile yourself and made belts. Yes, I, I wrestled the crocodile, and then I skinned him. That's exactly how I did that. Okay. Original twill or vintage twill for uh, Bill's khakis. I would say original. Um, I would say original. They should look like mine. That's what you want to get. And again, I've got pictures you can take a look at in my uh, Flickr if you want to take a closer look at the, what they look like. Uh, and if you hang in there I'll, and remind me later, I'll get them and I'll show them to you here. 
Um, to, okay, all right. Let, let me get them now since you're on the website looking now. Let me get them. This is the kind of service you get on this channel. You don't, you don't get this kind of service on any other channel. Here they are. Okay, They're, they've got no pleats in the front. I've got them both ways. I've got them with pleats also. They're very, very traditional. See the pocket, on seam pocket. See? So that's what you're looking for. All right. No, no sense deviating. No sense deviating from the formula. Okay. Um, do they make watch traps out of kangaroo leather? That's a good question because it would be good stuff. Eduardo, I never owned an oyster petrol. I'd get an explorer. Not a big OP fan except for historical purposes. Okay. Uh, can I can I buy your Bill's khakis? Craig says Sam. No, mine are not for sale. Uh, Craig, the crocodile killer. Show us that big knife you used to take the crocodiles out. I can't show that knife every show. Come on, guys. Got to hold some things for future shows. I tell my son that in India 11 years ago, killed lions, reference to movie The, the Edge, The Edge. Uh, okay. Um, you serve some of the OPs have interesting dial colors, but I don't like the asymmetrical indices. Try for a switch. Okay, good point. Uh, the, okay, all right, I'm caught up for one thing. By the way, I watched one of Archie's streams first time in a long time, and it was depressing. Craig, what do you think about uh, a vineyard, vines, clothing? I don't know anything about them. Okay, all right, let's get back to it here. Let's get back to it, folks. We've got to move along. This has got a really big show, really big show here. Talk about staying warm. What about this? What about this B3? I think that's a B3 shearling bomber let's get this thing to load in there we go what, what do you think about that that'll keep you warm that'll keep you warm but that is not the coat that i wore in moscow i will show you the the, the coat that i wore in russia if we get to it here hopefully we'll get to it now while we're on the shoes these shoes right here and by the way this company's having a big sale right now oak street boot makers oak street boot boot makers okay all right, and this this pair happens to be this pair happens to be um, uh, buffalo buffalo hide. So there you go. That is durable stuff, durable stuff, buffalo. Okay, buffalo leather, and it's it's soft, very very comfortable. These I believe were made by Highland Shoe Company. Highland Shoe Company, I believe, made these for Oak Street bootmakers. And I'll show you another thing. Here's a pair of Sperry's. This is the Made in Maine collection. And, and these, I believe, were also made by Highland Shoe Company in Maine. And these are very nice, very comfortable. They made these for several years. They, they tried to bring manufacturing back to Maine, and, they, and Sperry made a bunch of shoes in Maine, and then they gave up on the whole project. And then I bought, like, geez, I probably bought six or eight pairs, new old stock, heavily discounted. These were like $330 shoes. I think I paid $120 for them, new in the box. I bought several pairs of them, probably like eight pairs of different styles and so on. Um, and I and I love them. They're, this this sole is extremely comfortable. It wears pretty fast though, but it's it's very spongy and very very comfortable. So they are having a big sale. I noticed. I went on their website, Oak Street Bootmakers. They're having a big sale, and they have this shoe, very very similar to this shoe, heavily discounted on their website right now, right now. <clears throat> So that's, this is the kind of information you only get on this channel, folks. You only get this on this channel. Uh, Triforce Rich, Chip Wong was trolling you in the stream. He is obsessed with you. Ron was doing the same thing. Uh, who's that directed to? Chip Wong's trolling in the stream. I don't understand 
t trolling me? If he is, you should you should hit him with the wrench. Abuse serve. Craig, what's more classy, a Grand Seiko tattoo on the chest or a bald eagle on the bicep? Yeah, I'd pass on all that. I sent Archie some little money. Poor bugger. He's down now. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, neither of those are classy. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Uh, Triforce Rich Reserve Chip was lobbying to get you unbanned, but don't know why you'd want to be part of that train wreck. Eduardo's in the house. Uh, Archie has seen better days, much better days. He's regretting getting rid of the Rolex for the unsellable Patex right now, for sure. Are you, sh you really think he actually owns those Patex? I don't know that he actually owns those. Archie ruined his vids with stupid advertisements. I can't even watch more than one minute of it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, not he's entirely. He's in, he his entry price into Patek Philippe is so low he could get out easily uh, a flat at flat to to a gray. Okay. Buy a Rolex. Of course, if you believe all that, who knows if he even owns them? Like I said, Triforce Rich, buy a Rolex, smart, wear it, sell it for more. Seeing people struggling to sell other brands puts things into perspective. It's risky, though, to do the whole Rolex buy and sell thing, too. It's and That's not easy. you got to know what you're doing. You can get burned on all that. Let's see here. Um, Sam's in the house. Fella, no one wants what Archie has. I would rather buy a double cheeseburger from McDonald's. Uh-oh. He has lower sugar level and needs money. Poor Archie. Uh, let's see here. Um, I've been enjoying the date just okay. Uh, just trying to see if there's anything on topic here. Seems like Archie's channel might not make it to 2021. Uh, Cheat Town Archie probably couldn't trade one of those pet techs for curtains for his house. Craig, who's worth Archie or <laughs> worse, Archie or Dog Man? Oh, I would Dog Man definitely. He's a he's a nasty piece of work. Um, Archie just kind of goes with the flow a little bit, but I, I think yeah, on that I wouldn't do a deal with either one of them. I wouldn't trust either one of them, far as I can throw them. But but uh, yeah, Dog Man is a nasty piece of work. Eduardo Craig, since the stream about quality what are you, your thoughts on apple watch when the user only wants it for running apple watch is fantastic i love the apple watch it's a great piece kevin d new gs green face gm2 release dogman is worse always um lance aren't archie and the dogman married craig check email i will i'll get to the email and lance but yeah, i mean you you, you got to take in what we're talking about here because we're trying to keep you from sidetracking on junk also Okay, so here is, if you want to step up, you can buy Russell moccasins. Let me load this in. Okay, and whoops, what happened here? Darn it. How come I popped off of that? Let me see. There we go. Okay, so Russell's, let me grab this one. Okay, so... Um, most of these models, like this model here, are custom made to your measurements, which is good because the thing will fit you. And they're not ridiculously expensive. They really aren't for what you get. Very high quality, very sturdy, well-made shoe. Russell Moccasin Company. Russell Moccasin Company. Do yourselves a favor and get yourself at least one pair of their shoes. They have all different styles. Get yourself at least one pair you will thank your your feet will thank you your feet are the foundation of everything you do the foundation of everything you do you should not mistreat your feet um, let's see Craig can you recommend any current production brands of clothes Oxford for suits OXXFORD uh, for suits and sport coats you can't go wrong there but have them when you get them made, you have them make the conservative style. They'll they'll do the trendy, you know, short coats and stuff that they're selling these days. But they'll also do the conservative, timeless style. That's what I would do. Oxford. 
As far as shirts, um, definitely Gitman Brothers shirts out of Pennsylvania. Get yourself some Gitman Brothers shirts. Um, khakis, Bill's khakis. The shoes, I'm talking about them right now. So there's some examples right there of some current stuff that you can buy that's still in production. Uh, and Abby Williams uh, uh, just got a new GS. Cool. Which one did you get? Let us know which one you got. And where did you get it? Did you get it from the Steve Sturt Little Treasury? He's a good guy. I hope you did. Uh, let's see. Irish ex-bass player living in Italy. New, okay. Uh, what did you... Okay. Yeah, we're following up on what he got. David Williams. I heard Vegas is going to get pretty hot in the next couple of days. Dirt in the house. Lance is king of the emails. He sent... His sent folder has got to be full by now. Where is Lamont? Okay, let's check that email while we can. Let's check that email. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that case design. Yeah, I would pass on that. Look, I just don't. That Yeah, it doesn't do anything for me. I would pass on that. Lance, don't buy anything without getting it pre-approved because you, you seem to have pretty marginal taste in, in things. So make sure you get it pre-approved by the channel here before you buy anything. I, I, I've really, I'm really concerned about your, your lack of taste, okay? Uh, let's see, Lamont is confused uh, now that it seems, to, okay. I got the SBGN013, okay, let's check it out. Let's check that out. Da, 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 da. Give me a moment here. I'll bring this puppy up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all, I say. I say not bad. Let's see what the stats are on this puppy. Yeah, 40 by 12.2. Yeah. Yeah. I got no problem with that. No problem with that. Okay. Uh... According to Joe Biden, that might be the case. Okay, uh, let's see. I blame celebrities for legitimizing tiny suits. Oh my gosh, those suits are ridiculous. Ugly GS, uh, uh, laughing my whatever, Triforce Rich. High beat does less than nothing for me. Yeah, this is a, uh, I believe this one's a 9F. Yeah, I'm sure that that's a 9F. Uh, let's see. We need to get your choices pre-approved. Um, let's see. Uh, D uh, David Williams, I have family that live out near... Okay. Nice GS to my eyes, but at Lance, keep focused. <laughs> Craig is laying the, the smack down on Lance. Poor Lance. <laughs> Durs in the house. No, we're just, you know, it's just an intervention. That's all that is. Buying. We like him. That's Otherwise, if we didn't care, we'd just let him, you know, step in the poo-poo, right? No, but as we see him getting ready to step in the poop, we're going to help uh, deflect that situation. Um, let's see. Buying a high beat GS is a big mistake. None of the reliability and accuracy you expect from GS. I hear you. Um, nice. Wa okay. Uh, gee, that's my neighborhood. Poor Lance. Not even Craig gives him sympathy for his watch days. Uh, Jay Halo's in the house. Should I get an overcoat? It's only 168 half wool and very good quality for the price. From who? Who are you going to buy this overcoat from? Uh, yeah. that I need more detail. Uh, David Williams, you're a West Side guy then. David Williams in the house. Thanks, guys. It's a great watch. Uh, Red Rocks. Lance, stay away from the poo-poo. <laughs> Should have bought um, Craig's watch. Craig, show him your watch for sale. That's the, uh, the 005 on the right. Yeah, the 005 is a stunner, absolute stunner alert on the channel. Yep. And that is, the model number on that is SBGN005, SBGN005. If somebody wants that one, they can get in direct contact with me and we'll do a deal. Let's see. Uh, 
to, to, to how much better it looks in real. Yeah, they always look. The GSs always look a lot better in real life than they do on the, these. These aren't even pictures on on that Grand Seiko website. That's a rendering. That's not even a picture. I mean, it's insane. Um, okay, let's go back. Let's go back. We got to move along here, folks. We got a lot of stuff to do here. We ta talked about Russell. Let's go back here. And again. <clears throat> Treat yourself to a really nice pair of moccasin construction shoes. Get yourself a really nice pair. Here's, here's a bunch of examples here. Uh, let me pull up. Tell you what, let me pull up and show you. I walk in these all the time. These are the, I believe they're called the Captain's Oxfords. These are Sperry Topsiders. Notice it says handcrafted in Maine. This is the made in Maine collection. And this is the Captain's Oxford. Okay. Super comfortable. I This is what I use for walking many, many miles. I walk in these. And I have, I bought like four pairs of them, I think. New in the box, new old stock, so that I would have them. And I think I paid an average of about $120 a pair for them. They're, they're normally $330 list price, I think. They don't make them anymore in Maine, so they're hard to get. You got to find new old stock, uh, but that is a super comfortable shoe. Um, I mean, just super comfortable. And now let me go back here. And you know that remember when you bought your first pair of boat shoes? Okay, here's another example. These are again Sperry's. The, this is the Made in Maine collection. Okay, see it says handcrafted in Maine. And again, it's just a very simple t uh, Sperry Topsider boat shoe, but very comfortable because of the moccasin style construction. That's why they're so comfortable, folks. Okay, and again, here's some belts and cashmere sweaters. We all know about cashmere sweaters. Brianna loves to wear those. And there's some other sweaters. There's some high end. Uh, Safari clothes. Again, all these pictures are on my Flickr. There's an album for high-end clothing, and and each picture has a description of what it is and everything. So this is not hard for you guys to do your research, right? There's some some alligator belts. Oh, and here I am in the cold. You wanted me in January. There I am in January in Moscow. January in Moscow and wearing a parka. Uh, let's see, that is a N-2B made in USA. It's by Alpha Industries, A-L-P-H-A Industries. And I'm wearing insulated jump pants by Spider, S-P-Y-D-E-R. Those are jump pants. And then I'm wearing... Uh, Sorel boots, S O R E L boots from Canada, made in Canada. And then that's a Russian hat that's on my head. So that's what I'm wearing in that picture. Let's see if we can make it a little bigger. So there you go. Yeah, you wanted cold weather. There I was I, in January in Moscow, outside of Moscow, about about 50 50 miles outside of Moscow in that in that particular photo. So there you go. On this channel, this is the only place that you get this information. You will not get this information anywhere else, okay? Anywhere else, you, you won't find this information. Just forget about it. Don't even try to find it anywhere else. And Logan's in the house. Should I buy the SBGX263 or SBGV239, both Grand Seikos, or just buy the Seiko MM300? Oh, boy, good question. Um... The SBGX263. Let's take a look. SBGX263. We've looked at this before. Give me a moment here and I'll switch to it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the, the, the entry level model. Yeah, that, that's a fantastic piece. Okay. So, uh, SBGX263 or SBGV239. Okay. 
SBGV239. See what we got there on that one. Uh, 239. We've looked at this again, obviously. That's nice, too. I mean, it, it's, uh, it's a nice looking piece. That's got the five link bracelet. I kind of like that. I kind of like the five link bracelet. 10.4 mil thick. That's nice and trim. That's nice. Yeah, I, I think I would go for the 239. I think I would go to the 239. No, I would not get the Seiko, the, the Marine Master 300. It's a very thick, thick watch. I don't know that I'd get that. Different animals. You're comparing apples to oranges here. Triforce Rich, the issue with a vintage Datejust is that it might not be best daily wearer, but buy what you love. You need another watch to rotate with. Lance, it happens to me, so I sold off half of my poo poo watches. Eduardo's in the house. What's your price range? Lance, just get rid of the whole collection and start from square one, says Durr. I told him the ones he should keep. Uh, there are only two watches that he should keep, and then they should go from there. I say that for Lance, a smooth bezel oyster, oyster bracelet date just should be the best. Silver, blue, or black dial. Mm, I'm not so sure about that. I think he should get a Jubilee with the fluted white gold bezel, personally. But any, Yeah, I have Alpha jackets. They're classic. Yeah, but you want to make sure you get the ones made in the USA. They've also cheapened out their brand, and they make a lot of stuff overseas now. I think 3000 would be my max. Okay. Eduardo, what's the problem with fashion companies? Also, they're really bad when... Okay. It's a quality... Okay. Uh, whatever. Where's Sam? <laughs> oh, 05, better than Datejust. Uh, skate to where the puck is going versus where it is was David Williams in the house. Oh, absolutely. I would get the 005 over the Datejust. Absolutely. Well, that's what I did. I mean, are you kidding me? It's sitting right there. There's the 005 right there. Absolutely, I'd get the 005. It's not even a close call. It's a fantastic piece. And that's not, I'm not saying that just because David is selling his, and, and mine is actually on the market. Soft, mine is a soft sell. Mine isn't listed anywhere. It's just if a, if a uh, subscriber wants it, I'll do a deal for them, but it, I'm not actively trying to sell it. David is, it has his for sale with a nice uh, uh, crocodile strap and a deployant clasp. That's a hell of a situation. Lance needs a young man's watch, sporty for the ladies, a nice 005 GS will do. Excel absolutely, Sam in the house. Thoughts on um, Page R boots, made in Canada as well. Not familiar with those, but they could be fine. They could be fine. Depends on what you're using your boots for. I, boots, I, I would get Russell Moccasins. I, I'd, I'd go to Russell, uh, R Russell Moccasin Company's website, and I'd uh, lock and load. Carlos is in the house. Now, if you want a deal, uh, like I say, Oak Street uh, bootmakers are having a hell of a sale. Let me let me pull that up here. Give me a moment. Let me try to see if I can pull that up. And show you their sale. I mean, this is a... See, this is what's happening right now. People are hurting, man. People are hurting. And they're they're having some deals. They're having some deals, man. Summer sale up to 40%. Okay, shop the sale. Look at this. I went in here earlier today just to check because I knew I was going to be talking about this. See, I did a little bit of show prep today. I did a little bit of show prep today. This thing is not loading in. I'll switch back to it when it loads in. See, everybody's hitting their site. <laughs> I just talked about them on the show, and now the website is, is locked up. So I'm waiting for Oak Street Bootmakers, waiting for it to load in. Okay, it's loading in. All right. And see these boots? These are supposedly all made in USA. I, I think, you know, they use different makers to make their boots, and, and they're sort of like resellers, right? But let me show you the one that I think is very interesting that is most likely made by Highland Shoe Company, be my guess. Uh, this one right here, the Trail Oxford. This is like the one I just showed you. I mean, this is almost a twin. 
Okay. All right. Made in USA. I bet you that's made by Highland Shoe Company. I'm pretty much sure that's who made that shoe. 326 is list price. 228 is the sale price. And if you look here, grab mine. Very, very similar. Okay? Very similar. I'll bet you it is the same shoe. I bet you it is made by Highland Shoe Company. This in this case, this one was made for Sperry. And this one was a $330 list price. That's $326. I mean, I bet you that is the same shoe right there. And I'll tell you what, that is a super well-made, super, super comfortable shoe. So there you go. Only on this channel will you get information like that. Oak Street Bootmakers, they're having a sale right now. Okay, what else do we got going on here? Uh, Trevor Switch, I wouldn't wear the date just every day. I, I w would be more of a weekend piece. I wouldn't want to wear a vintage Rolex daily. Why not? If you're spending that much money for a watch, get some use out of it. Cheetown's towns in the house. Craig, were you in Russia to meet attractive female lawyers sporting ties to, to the Kremlin? I actually was there meeting a number of, of extremely attractive uh, Russian ladies, and, and I had a great time, and we, we uh, traveled around a lot, and, uh, and I met a friend there, and, and I, I, I had a contact, which was always good, and I had a place to stay when I went there, and they were able to arrange a driver, and so I was able to go around and do whatever I wanted to do, and... Um, yeah, I had a great time. I had a great time. A lot of beautiful young ladies there. Um, and, and some very, very smart. Um, one that I got to know real, real, real well was a graduate of um, Moscow University there. And, uh, and yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. Absolutely. Okay. Um, da, da, da. GS is a sensible brand. Oh, absolutely. Lance, to save for five-digit 90s or 2000s date just and get something newer that you can wear every day. Yeah, you want to get something that's going to be really reliable that you can wear. You don't want to get something that's going to be a, a problem. The gold Movado is staying in my collection. I'll also keep the... SKX okay is that the one I told you to keep the other day I'm confused I hope it is because if not then you should listen okay it orders in the house well fashion companies are companies such so as H&M so maybe it's something different okay um, I agree with Carlos the Sovereign's a fun piece goes well on any strap many aftermarket bracelets and the 05 also includes seldom worn GS croc strap and GS deployant class which it looks great on by the way we showed it here the other day it looks great it get the white dial okay bracelet as well of course um, Craig what do you think of the Seiko SPB 083 it's thinner than the Marine Master and about half the price okay S PB 083. Okay, let's check it. I guess this is it. Hold on a second here. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, so I guess that's it there. Uh, the Prospex 200 meter baby M. I guess that's it. I I mean I it looks good to me. I like the the hands. I like the dial. 
yeah, I mean, if it's a decent watch, I don't know that much about them, but yeah, I mean, it's a thousand dollar list price, it looks like. So, yeah, I guess it'd be okay. I would probably buy the Shogun before I'd buy that, the SBDC 007, uh, because it is going to be cheaper than that and be all titanium, and they are awesome. So, that's probably the way I would go. Uh, let's see. Um, <clears throat> Thank you. I think it's best if I send Craig the link to the website in an email. That'll help. Okay. Mine is not listed anywhere either. Uh, Logan M. Get in contact with David. Uh, David wants if Logan buys your 005, I get a 2% commission. Eduardo, that's a, that's a good deal, that 005. Cause with everything he's including, that's a good deal. I actually do need a pair of winter boots. Can these boots handle freezing winters? Uh, you well, my gosh! You can get some boots from Russell Moccasin Company that are straight up made for hunting and and super cold weather. Uh, absolutely, uh, they'll build they'll build you some boots that would be good for that. Uh, are you going to be out? Like, at, at what temperatures are you going to be out, and for how long? I mean, if you're going to be in super cold, then get some sorrels like the ones I had in that picture from Canada. Uh, th th those will keep your feet warm. It just depends on the temperatures and, and how long you're going to be out in it as to what you're going to need. But yeah, the sorrels will, will keep you warm for sure. They're, they're pretty fantastic. Uh, but they're kind of bulky and you wouldn't want to wear them all the time. It just depends on, like I say, the, the temperature ranges you're, you're dealing with. Uh, Craig has my contact info if needed. A sorrel kind of ch uh, cheaped out. Okay, so they're not very well made anymore? Okay, I got you. I, don't, I wouldn't doubt it. Um, well, then I'm not sure. Yeah, I think you might want to get uh, a pair of um, Russell's made and just wear some nice heavy socks with them. And I, I think you'd probably be fine in most situations. Uh, you know, they're made for hunters and stuff. They're, 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 they're no joke. Rancourt makes some great uh, moccasin-style shoes. Absolutely, Rancourt. Absolutely, they make some good stuff. But I would go with Russell. Let's see, Buu Serve, I'm surprised more people don't talk about them better looking than the turtle. Okay, Lance, I've worn my 51 day chest almost daily for six months now. That's what they were built for. They aren't a Patek. There you go. Absolutely. Absolutely. Buu Serve, I am glad I, I bought not seeing it. Fantastic well-made watch. There, there, is, there is a little Craig Ship Jr. running around in Russia. Oh, probably several. Probably several. Uh, Russian girls are fantastic, uh, f feminine and well-educated. Pleasure to spend time. Absolutely. If you get a vintage Rolex serviced, it should be ready to rock every day. Absolutely. Jay is in the house and uh, rate my watch style. I like the Rolex Explorer Omega SM 300 meter 2018. Yes, Snowflake, Hamilton, Khaki Field, Tudor, Black, but yeah, I forget the Tudor and I'd skip on the Sen and probably have no need for the Hamilton either. Just rel wear the Explorer. We're skipping the junk watches these days. Uh, Jay, you like the mainstream classics, okay? Eduardo's in the house. Uh, Lance says, Eduardo, I don't know. I just think that Vintage Day just might be a little fragile. No, it's not fragile if it's in good shape. And the lovely brief at dance is in the house. She says hi to everyone. And uh, let's see. Uh, and folks are saying hi to Bree. And Jay's in the house. That's the only tutor I like. I would pass on tutor. Tutor Blackway 58 is what you give to a girlfriend you want to break up with you. Lance is in the house. He says hi to Bree. Carlos is in the house. He says hello to Bree. And Leon says, I hate to say this, but at this time there's no reason to buy a used SBGN 003 or SBGN 005 because you can actually snag one new from a dealer for a good price. I was quoted 2900 out the door. Well, yeah, they, they list for what, 3100 that, that's So that's not a huge discount. But still, I mean, if you can get, if you can get uh, David's watch for like, let's say you could negotiate him down to, to throw out a number, let's say you could get him down to 2600 bucks. 
you're getting the watch, full box and papers, and you're getting the deployment clasp and the crocodile strap. You know, that that's like five hundred dollars worth of kit right there, those two things. Uh, you know, you're that's getting pretty sweet. That's getting pretty worth doing, I think. I think so. Um and it's the watch is in mint condition, so so yeah, but buying one new, absolutely. I mean, Steve would probably match that price for somebody if he has one in stock. Now, some folks don't have stock on them, so that could be a problem. Edward is in the house. Then it'll be fine as long as you don't operate a jackhammer every day. And and Kyle's in the house. He says, "Hey guys," and hopefully we'll be able to get a, an update maybe later in the week on on what's going on on the West Coast because things are very dicey here in Maryland. Things are dicey. And the natives are getting restless. Uh, the business owners, some of them are starting to open, even though they're not authorized to do so. Uh, there's starting to be some pushback on the governor. So we'll see how all that plays out. It, the natives are getting restless, folks. And Lance says, hey, to Kyle. Uh, Stig, Lance, you're the man. Hold on to the SKX. Eduardo, I'm honestly thinking about getting a really rough op service it and use it for gardening as a true beater eduardo in the house i'll tell you what could be a real beater is if you got an 005 <laughs> you got an 005 that can take some punishment <laughs> you can't you can't break that movement uh let's see um leon there are a few to none list on ebay and chrono 24 by the seller there you go in panama we only need winter clothes to go to the cinema. Eduardo's in the house. When I mean rough, I mean the case. Well, the case can take, yeah. I mean, okay, I hear what you're saying. Uh, Carlos, you're lucky. David, I didn't buy the seller. It, it is little treasury. Um, let's see here. Lance says, I wouldn't wear the date just only on special occasions. I just wouldn't wear it every day of the week. Well, then don't buy it. If you're not going to wear the watch, don't even bother, man. These watches are designed to be worn. At least the ones I recommend are. I, I believe in these watches being on wrist. Carlos is in the house. Not sure. Sometimes I miss the cold outside. David Williams, Leon, you likely did not get a GS strap or deployment clasp in that offering. Absolutely he didn't. Eduardo's in the house. Carlos, I honestly prefer the winner, and I'm Mexican. My mom isn't proud of me, <laughs> okay? Um, one advantage about winter is you can dress in some really nice clothes and all that, and you're not going to be, like, wringing wet with sweat, right? So there you go. There's something to be said for that. Lance is in the house. Why wouldn't you wear it every day of the week? <laughs> Good question. Craig, would you call Melania Trump the hottest first lady of all time? She's she's pretty hot. Yeah, she's pretty hot. And no doubt about that. Probably she is. Absolutely, I think she is. I don't think it's even a close call. Um, everybody thought Jackie Kennedy was all that, but I didn't think she was that great. I think, uh, you know, yeah. Yeah, Melania, absolutely. David Williams in the house. Leon, you, are, you also sold all your GS watches. Did you not? Okay. Uh, be served. She's a stunner. Uh, Chi Town, I want to wear all the watches in my collection. Uh, let's see, but uh, pair that collection way down, way, way down. Uh, let's see, bought Swatch from James Bond, was sold out in one hour, only 7,007 pieces. Price doubled and tripled on eBay. Now, Q will wear product placement. Okay. Winner in. Is very nice. Okay, Lance, uh, so sell the lot except for the SKX, and you won't have to wear all the watches in your collection. I wonder how much he could get for that gold piece. He got a real good buy on that gold piece. I wonder how much he could get for that. That'd be a good question. David Williams in the house. Twenty six hundred is too low. He says, "Okay, can't take twenty six hundred." Okay, might be a keeper then, David. Eduardo's in the house. Lance, when the Rolex enters the collection, it's going to be hard to wear the other ones. I would think so. Life is too short to wear the junkers when you got a nice one. Carlos agreed. Wore shorts last time I went. To, okay. Uh, Cheat Town, I'm keeping the SKX uh, 
Victorinox, infantry automatic, and Movado 18 color. If I go in to sell the tag, no, no, you're keeping way too much junk. Sell the junk. David, experiencing the pain of trying to sell a GS. Hopefully the right buyer comes around, but you probably have to discount. Triforce Rich. Yeah, you have to give people, a, it has to be a deal. Otherwise, they like, you know, they said the people would just go and buy a new one, right? Agreed, 2900 shipped. Strap plus clap, clasp is a pretty good deal. Yep, it is. If somebody wants that whole kit, they, they're not going to be able to beat that. But the question is, do they want the, the other strap? If they, if they like that other strap and the deployant, absolutely. Lance, you should get rid of all that. Movados are never cool. There is in the house, Lance. Melt that gold Movado down and turn it into hoop earrings for the girlfriend. Sell the rest. <laughs> it's not that easy to turn that gold into something. That People charge you money for that. You know, and there's not much gold in that watch. So, yeah, I don't think, I, I think he might be able to sell it and do better. You might be able to find somebody to buy that. Some lucky so-and-so got an 005 for $2,000 USD last week on eBay auction. I would wonder if that was for real, though. I'm wondering if that really happened. Sometimes that's a scam. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Eduardo, Craig Ship, I would feel bad for beating up an 005. An overpolished OP doesn't deserve anything but gardening and rough use. Yeah, but I mean, if you're going to buy a watch to wear as a as a heavy use watch, it's okay to beat it up. I mean, that's that's the whole point. You you bought a watch that's heavy duty and you're wearing it. So I don't think there's a problem with that. Be your service and ask. Uh, Clive might want to buy that Movado. Uh, no pain here. Not panic. Rush sale. We'll sell to the right quality buyer. Watch is great. Happy with it. There you go, David. Absolutely. Be your service. I've had a chance to buy it at. 2200 uh, Lance is in the house. Uh, in fact, I found it for $40. It's so amazing to me and a great story behind the watch. Yeah, I know you got a steal on that watch, but the question is, what could you sell it for? That's the question. Private or AD Rich? Okay. What do you think of the SBGV221, SBGP001? I'm afraid the 44GS case might be a scratch magnet. I wouldn't worry about the scratch magnet. I just don't particularly like the 44 GS case. I don't particularly, I, I, I like some of the other case designs better. Some people like the 44 GS case, but not particularly for me. Lance, the Movado 9K or 10K gold. Um, currently getting some vitamin D with my mom. Good, good on you. That's good. Absolutely. Uh, vitamin D is a good thing. Triforce Riches in the house. We serve gray. New with warranty. Likely a herding dealer who dumped it. Uh, Leon, uh, David, I sold all except for the Japan only 9F Diver SBGX335. I just... I, I did just buy an under $1,000 GS that Craig showed us on Friday. Oh, you, you, you bought it, <laughs> Leon? Do tell. When do you get it? And when you get it, you should show it to us. Absolutely. Keep us informed. Lance is a man in motion. Lance is in the house. at Eduardo, it's 18 karat yellow gold. There you go. 005 in Europe is 3,400. Try to sell. Uh, try sell to international buyers. Okay, I, I see. <clears throat> Lance, uh, $40 is super cheap. I'd suggest flipping it for a profit. Uh, let's see. I'm thinking of buying Swatch Group stock just for the heck of it. What do you think of their prospects? Yeah, I would pass on that. Leon, how many watches do you own? Okay, uh, Lance, I found it at an antique store that knew nothing about watches. They probably thought it was plated gold. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what that, that's how that that's how that happens sometimes. That gold Movado is probably just wrapped in gold tone tin foil from Russell Stover chocolate Easter egg. <laughs> and Cheat Town's in the house. Uh, there are plenty of great gems out there, and and you found one in that Movado. You will soon learn, however, that you don't 
you don't need to possess all those gems. Absolutely. Okay, so on the final thing on buying quality, we're going to talk about the Limer boots. Somebody talked about boots earlier. Here, these are for hiking boots. These are hiking boots. These are the best you can get. These are Limer, L-I-M-M-E-R. I think they might be pronounced Limer. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but it's L-I-M-M-E-R. And this is the custom. They, they, they offer off the shelf, and they offer the custom ones. The custom ones have this lighter color, this color inside. See that? And these are made to order, and there's a long waiting list. A long waiting list. You need to have your feet measured and so forth and they will make these for you and it will probably take six months maybe a year so if you want a pair of these you better get uh, get on the list Limer and I have a full review I have videos here on the channel heavy duty talk about heavy duty heavy duty alright so don't buy junk folks don't don't buy junk Alright, that's how that works. That's the whole theme of this show today is don't buy the junk. Let me see what else I can pull up here. Try to get this, try to get the, the, the point across here. I'm trying to get the point across to you guys, okay? Here's another example. We've showed this on the channel. And let me see if I can get this to load. This is the Heirloom Messenger Bag, okay? And this comes in different colors. If you don't like that color, you can get different colors, no problem. But extremely well-made bag, extremely well-made. I use this for my computer, for my laptop, my, my MacBook Pro when I'm traveling. All my gear associated with the computer can go in there, including some audio gear and so forth. And so that is the heirloom messenger bag that's designed to be handed down to your heirs okay quality stuff folks don't buy junk out there okay don't don't buy the junk let's see here um, Leon says I got the one with the day and date it's the states it will arrive it will arrive by Friday I got it with the best offer for under 900. Excellent, Leon. Good move. Wait, you got to show that to us. Can you can you please Skype into the channel and show it to us? And if you need my Skype, you need to email me so I can give it to you. I don't want to give it to you over the air, but uh, if you can Skype in and show it to us when you get it, that'd be fantastic. Chi Town, I understand that Movado has a lot of sentimental value to me. Okay, those boots are for kicking bums out of your basement who snuck down there to eat potato chips and wear tutors. There's some heavy duty boots, I can tell you that right now. They're no joke, all right? No freaking joke with those boots. I'd really like some red ring mock toe boots. There you go. I think you'll do better with, with uh, buy the uh, Russell, Russell moccasins. I think you'd be better uh, than the red wings on that. Man purse, Merce, okay, it's a messenger bag. That's right, heirloom messenger bag. Okay, all right, so let's go um, uh, Let's go back here and see what else we've got. Let's do a time check. We're getting up. On, oh, my gosh, it's been an hour. Can you imagine, folks? It's been an hour. How quick time flies? How quick time flies when you're talking serious business. We're talking serious business today, folks. People that are in motion making things happen here on the channel people doing deals right they're doing deals on the channel and what while we're talking about oxford let's talk about oxford okay oxford close all right and this is a uh cashmere sport coat oxford close this one was sold new at neiman marcus and yeah absolute absolute quality absolute quality oxford clothes oxford clothes let's go back and see what else we've got in here because we're going to wrap this puppy up wrap it up 
That's what we're going to do. And, and by the way, I've worn this suit many times. I, this is the one I wore going to New York. Let me pull this puppy up. Give me a moment here. I'll switch to it once I get this puppy up on here. Once I get it up. Okay, and this is a Brooks Brothers. This is the 1818 Madison. Madison model. Nice gray pinstripe by Brooks Brothers. You've seen that on the channel. So there you go. That's what I that is the suit that I selected when I went to New York on the Grand Seiko event. The Grand Seiko event that was prior to this draconian shutdown. And uh, here's another here's another Oxford. Let's see if I can get this to load in. Oh boy, it's still loading in. Give me a second here. Well, I'll go ahead and show you this picture of it hanging up. I'll show you this picture of it hanging up. Give me this load in here. There's another there's another Oxford Oxford sport coat. Sport coat. Oxford. Okay. Um, let me see what else. Let's get out of Oxford here for a second. We've spent enough time on Oxford. I like Oxford, but uh, we spent too much time on them. Let's see what else we got here. Get this thing. I don't want to cut to it until I get it loaded in. It's taking its sweet time loading. Okay, let's see what else we can pull up here. Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. Don't get me started on hats. We got a bunch of hats here. Don't get me started. Don't get me started on the hat thing. For gosh sakes, don't don't, don't get us started on the hat thing. We could be here all freaking night if we talk about the hat thing, right? Talk about resist dolls, talk about Stetsons, talk about Tilly hats. Could be here all freaking night. By the way, those boots right there in the upper right there, those, those, those are kangaroo. Those are kangaroo leather. Okay. And uh, let's see here. What else? And those are the moccasins that the lovely Brianna got. Those moccasins by Town View, they make some nice freaking moccasins to wear around the house. Are you kidding me? Town View? Town View moccasins? Those are fantastic. My gosh, those are the most comfortable things. I wear them around the house here all the time. So usually in the morning, I wear my Town View moccasins. And they are so freaking comfortable. Insanely comfortable. F folks, treat yourself to a pair of those. Those are the ones that are lined with the deer skin. The deer skin lined ones. Treat yourself to a pair of those. I think they're around 150 bucks. Don't quote me, but I think they're around that price. But treat yourself to a pair of Town View moccasins. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh Craig, what about Bellevue boots? I use them for work around the house and outside. I'm not familiar with them. I don't. Where are they made? I'm not familiar with them. Sorry. A nice price on the acquisition, Leon. Uh, David, thanks. I really do hope you sell your GS for the full price. You you bought it from Japan. Uh, yes, he did. I will be starting my own YouTube channel one of these days when I get around to it, as Craig says. I just got to make sure I get a Cat5 cable, <laughs> lol. Let's see uh, how it goes. No rush, okay. Get Cat6, same price, future-proof, or Cat7. Cat7 these days, I think. I think that's the latest, right? Lance is in the house. Craig, what do you think about Brooks Brothers' red fleece line of clothing? That's a good question. Find out where they're made, and if they're made overseas or whatever, I would pass. 
I would pass. I would make sure you buy the stuff that's made in the USA. Uh, let's see. Uh, Triforce Rich, I have it. The, the fit is trim, which works for me, but Craig wouldn't like it. Quality is okay, but I got my shirt um, for the looks. Uh, I vote for three-hour stream with supper intermission break. Who's with me? Eduardo's in the house. Triforce Rich, it has lasted long, but the material could be better. Eduardo, uh, that would be very cool. Uh, rag and bone, much better quality, Lance. A lot more expensive, but buy them on sale or eBay. You can buy some really nice coats used on eBay. Some really nice coats. And just search for Made in the USA, and like for example, you get a cashmere top coat. Uh, you could get. Um, you could also find a nice Burberry, a nice Burberry trench coat. Uh, get the one that's made in England. If you can get the one that's 100% cotton, that's the way to go. Uh, so that's a possibility. So yeah, you could get some high-end coats, some well-made high-end coats, sometimes for a deal. Because that's the type of thing that sometimes people buy and they don't wear hardly at all. They put it in their closet and they thought they were going to wear it. Maybe they wore it once, didn't really like it, whatever. And then they end up selling it like 10 years later for like, you know, 10 cents on the dollar. Uh, that's what you want to buy. One that's been, you know, in the closet and never hardly worn. You don't want to buy one that somebody wore, wore out, you know, that has wear and tear on it. You, you know, just make sure it's in mint condition, right? And that, that's a good move. That's a good move. I, I say that's a good move. Good move, Governor. Let's see. Uh, thanks for letting me know. I wear a lot of Brooks Brothers clothing, but I've never really checked out Red Fleece. Yeah, if it's made overseas, I'd pass on it. Craig, Bellevue boots are made in the USA and are the official boot for the U.S. Army. They are amazing in hot temperatures. Okay, cool, interesting. I wouldn't buy a Red Fleece jacket, though. They don't have any canvassing in them, to my knowledge. Okay. Red Fleece is lower quality, Lance. I have a bunch of Brooks Brothers shirts, okay? And some of the older shirts were made in the USA. That's what you want to get. You want to get the ones made in the USA. I heard the Brooks Brothers Brooksgate line is very good. Again, make sure you get the stuff that's made in the USA. Don't get the newer junk that's not made in the USA. Okay, we hopefully, hopefully we've done an intervention here. We've got everybody straight. Uh, let me see if there's anything else we need to look at before we call this a wrap, because I'm getting hungry. You know, when I get hungry, I start getting mean. I get downright mean when I get hungry. And <clears throat> let's, let's wrap it up with a Gitman Brothers shirt. What do you say? Let's wrap it up with a Gitman Brothers shirt. It's what I'm wearing, actually, right now, is a Gitman Brothers shirt. Talk about Made in USA. Talk about quality. And you can pick them up sometimes in mint condition on, on the Internet. On, you can pick them up in mint condition sometimes on eBay. Gitman Brothers. There's a Gitman Brothers shirt. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Gitman Brothers. A Gitman Brothers shirt. That's what you do. You get a Gitman Brothers shirt. You take it to the cleaners, have them starch and press it and so forth. You roll up the sleeves like I am right now. You wear your stunner. You wear some nice Bill's khakis. And you can go anywhere and do anything. And you're going to look classy. People are going to take you seriously. They're not going to think you're some kind of a bum and some kind of a total freaking loser. And you'll be okay. David Williams is in the house. He says, hungry. Archie just... Posted another video with all five protects for sale. LOL. Uh-oh. We'll have to check that out. Brooks OC, OCBD have gone way down in quality. Mercer and Sons are much better. Uh, Lance, a first degree. Okay. We have solved almost all the world's problems here today, and hopefully people are not going to buy junk. Hopefully they're not going to buy junk. And that will be good. That will be a good thing if the people do not buy junk anymore. No more junk for the people. 
And on that note, please click subscribe and click the bell so that you'll get notifications and you will not miss another show. Okay, I don't think they're identical Pateks. I think some of them are white gold and some of them are yellow gold. But anyway, there's that. Uh, let, oh, there's a question here. It looks like I missed. Craig, how hard is your Sabenza to strip and maintain? Oh, they're very easy to strip down, but I almost never do that. I did it in a video on my channel here. You can see that. But it, it, for all practical purposes, I hardly ever use the knife. It's on my hip at all times for emergency. But uh, I, I, don't, I don't, like, cut things with it. I, I keep it razor sharp. It's got the factory edge on it. I mean, it is razor sharp. And I use my, my uh, Victorinox scientist to do most cutting. If I have to actually do some cutting when I'm out and about, I use that blade. And that's very easy to sharpen. And so my Sabenza is in mint condition and uh, no reason really for me to uh, strip it down. But it is very easy to do. It even comes with the tool and everything to do that. It ships with all of that. So it's a piece of cake to, um, to do that to your Sabenza. And there are a lot of videos on YouTube showing how you do all of that. Let's see. I think that's it. I think we are good. And Lance says it was a great stream. It was a fun show. Fun show today fun fun show click subscribe click that little bell thanks everybody